What is going on YouTube? Patrick here. Holy cow, you guys. I had so much fun doing this week's live garage sales. Oh my gosh, it felt like the best day ever. Uh, it usually feels like that when it's been a winter, right? There's many months and I like going thrifting. That's fun, but there's just nothing like going to garage sales. I'm probably going to call them tag sales because uh, <laughs> that's what I'm used to calling them. Uh, right in Connecticut, garage sales or tag sales. I don't know why. I can't explain it to you, but uh, <laughs> that's what they're called. I bought a lot of stuff. I may have gone overboard, but uh, let's let's get right into it, shall we? <laughs> okay, so at the first sale that we went to, my wife found some Magic Treehouse books marked at a dollar each. That's actually a little bit more than they're worth on eBay. They're worth about 80 to 90 cents, maybe a dollar on a good day. Uh, but so dollar paying a dollar each was, I, I was not interested in that. There are 10 of them. So I told her like, maybe we can get them all for $5. Um, she also found some little golden books that were Star Wars little golden books that she wanted to buy uh, for us, for the baby. The baby's doing two months. Uh, so I was like, let's just see if we can come up with a bundle. Uh, there were some neat toys. I looked around at all the stuff and then of course there's a little kid so I asked about video games he brought out some Xbox 360 games you can see let's see we've got Tomb Raider Lego Star Wars Minecraft Farming Simulator the two good ones are right here right Farming Simulator 15 and Minecraft Minecraft has been a consistent seller probably $20 right now the rest of them not great uh, I don't think I, I maybe noticed it when I was there but this one's actually brand new and sealed so that's gonna also be a $20 game otherwise I may not have picked them up. Uh, when he brought them out, he, I asked him, like, how much do you want? And he says, 50 cents each. And his mom was not having it, y'all. She was like, oh, maybe we start at $5 each. <laughs> That's not what I want to hear. I want to pay a dollar each. I'll pay two for, for, for sometimes if I get a good bundle of games. But right, unless, unless I know that there's value there, I really don't want to spend much more than that. Um, I had a pretty good feeling with Minecraft in there that I was gonna, there was going to be a couple of good games. So I was willing to pay a little bit more not too bad we headed across the street to the next sale and uh, found this sonicare brand new in the box i didn't look it up honestly there's none sold of this version right now i'm gonna list it at 30 dollars and see if i get any bites uh, i think i ended up paying her t she asked 15 and i paid 10 so not bad i'm trying to focus on brand new right now especially if i can easily flip it and small stuff right like I'm still having a hard time with the baby's room, just like trying to manage my space in here. I think that's gonna be an adjustment period. Likely, I've got my storage unit kind of all organized now, but likely I'm gonna to have to continue to work on that and see, like find my process. So for now, I'm gonna try and focus on smaller stuff. I didn't do a good job. <laughs> so we'll get into the next part of this. Let's see, the next one we went to, Dora the Explorer Toys. Let me grab those really quick. So I walked up to the sale, there was a blanket and there was a bunch of toys on it. I knew immediately that they were Dora the Explorer and she said, we're basically taking offers or taking donations for whatever you wanna buy. They also had a couple of these vintage Care Bear, I don't know if they're action figures, they're, they're plastic, but they're kind of soft. And I was like, I'll throw them all in a bag and, and say $5 and she was okay with that. Um, the Dora stuff, probably not a ton of value, maybe $15 for all of it, I don't know. The two Care Bears that were in there actually are gonna be about like seven to eight dollars each. So pretty good pickup for five bucks. I mean, you know, it's gonna be about $30 for five dollars. So not too bad, not too bad. All right, then we're gonna to go to there. Oh my gosh. So we headed up to the next sale and got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna to have to like grab from different areas. Uh, but the first things that I found were a whole bunch of Pyrex stuff. Let's see if we can get the Pyrex logo to show. There it is, Pyrex. And I was like, I'm trying to learn that category. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy some of this and see how well I do. I did okay. It's a little bit more scratched up than it should be. Um, my friend Amanda gave me some, uh, some polish so that it will help get the scratches out. So it'll make, make it look, not new, but make it look better than it looks right now. So a little bit of elbow grease. I should be able to, to do pretty well on it. Um, let's see, I think those that I just showed, they're like kitchen dishes and 
they're selling for like $10 each. So after I do some polish into it, maybe I can get $15 each. We'll see. I probably, I think I can guarantee to get $10 each out of them. And then all the bowls that I bought were also about $10 each. One of the bigger ones, um, it may end up getting like 15 to 20 after I clean it up a little bit. And then there's actually one of the bowls that's probably gonna go to Goodwill. So <laughs> there was one more thing I picked up, which was this enameled Dutch oven. Uh, let's see if we can get the mark on there. You can see Copco. This was on my list. I, I already knew that I should be looking for Copco Dutch, like especially since it's cast iron Dutch oven. This is an enameled Dutch oven. And they only wanted $3. So I was like, of course I want to buy this. Uh, so yeah, that one went in my cart. I'm going to list it at $50, y'all. We'll see how it does. I think I can guarantee to get like $30, $35 out of it. But here's the, here's the catch is that it is whitey white inside. There's no stains. It is really nice looking. There's none in brown that look like this that, that have sold recently. The one that did sell, I think, was it was really dirty inside. And that sold for about $35. Um, but there's a, there's a white one that looks just like this, sold for like $90 with free shipping. So I'm going to shoot high at $50 and see how we do. So then um, it was getting kind of late in the morning. My wife, uh, right, she's pregnant. She was like, I need to go to the bathroom. I need breakfast. <laughs> but I was like, we got one more sale to go to. Uh, so we we did. I did convince her to one more sale. And oh my God, you guys, I'm so glad that we did. The first thing I got, and this is this is kind of just the shell of it, Ninja Coffee Maker. Let's see if we got any any labels on this thing. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Uh, I must have just been on the on the uh, the carafe. There we go. Good. Use your words, Patrick. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna just do what I did with the last one. I'm just gonna part it out. Sell the carafe. Sell the water re reservoir. Uh, sell the coffee basket. Uh, sell the, the the coffee strainer. Like everything parted out. Uh, it even had a, a little frother. Um, I offered 10, he countered with 15, and I said, that's fine. Uh, should do pretty good on that. It's not like the best pickup in the world, but I'll, I'll definitely make money on that. And then the next thing that I saw that I was interested in was, and this is gonna be hard to see because it's still brand new, but it's Temptations by Terra. And this one's actually labeled just as Temptations, and it's the Floral Lace Elite pattern. Uh, it's got a silver color to it, which I actually can't find anything on eBay that's sold that ha that's this set. Uh, it was a QVC set, originally priced at 125 when they bought it from QVC, probably plus shipping. I don't know if it's all in there. It's supposed to be a 14 piece set. I haven't gone through it 100% to see, but there's a lot of it there. Um, I may end up doing this as an auction, we'll see. I, I'm always wary of auctions just because, right, I want to command top dollar and you have to just get lucky that somebody's in that seven day window looking for exactly what you're selling versus listing it as a buy it now of like 200. Then if I get an offer of the 150 range, I can do pretty good. Um, but the, the guy wasn't there. It was his uncle and his uncle was like, I don't know how much he wants. He'll be back in a couple of minutes. So I went to talk to Amber for a little bit came back I, I don't know if I got it on film after that I I'm not really sure you guys I have not looked at my footage from that day yet I think I did but he came back he was holding a bag and I'm like oh good he must have just gone to the donut store something like that got some breakfast not sure uh, but I was like all right I'll go talk to this guy told him you know I'm, I'm interested in this set and he says well great well how, I'm trying to just get rid of it how much do you offer <laughs> which of course we all hate to hear that I was like, I felt like I went pretty low. I said 20 bucks and he said, no problem, man. Uh, so I picked it, I was gonna go pick it up and move it. And I noticed that there was a mug sitting on the table, which I actually already put it in my own collection, but it was Game Boy. And I was like, that's really cool. And he's like, oh yeah, it's a color change when it heats. And it's really cool. Like, if you like that, maybe you'd like, uh, I've got this Nintendo Classic over here. And I was like, Nintendo Classic video games? yes please and I'm like I didn't see that out anywhere like where is it and his uncle I don't remember when exactly he said this but he was really like grumpy about it and he's like oh yeah everybody's been looking for video games all morning and the guy was like I didn't even know there anybody wanted old video games and I was I was drooling you guys going I'm gonna get the first crack at whatever video games he just went to get and brought back 
That's what was in that bag. All of his video game stuff he wanted to sell was in there. And so he started pulling the stuff out. There was a Dreamcast. There was a PS1 complete with the screen. Not, not the PlayStation 1, but the PS1, the smaller version of the, the, the PlayStation 1, the O-N-E, basically. And it has the little mounted-on screen. A couple games, and then a NES Classic and a Super Nintendo Classic, or SNES Classic. And I was like, I want to buy the whole bag. I, I think I told him this a couple times, and he was just like, are you sure? And I'm like, I want to buy the whole bag. And his uncle's like, well, it's not going to be cheap, you know. It's, we were gonna, everybody's been asking for this stuff. And then, of course, he says, well, what's your offer? So, guys, I went high. I was like, Here, I had $100. And he, he gave me one of these, I'm pretty sure. If I got on film, I would love to see that reaction. He's just like, oh, my gosh, $100? And he's like, yeah, definitely. 100 is great. And uh, it's actually, like, kind of low for what we got, right? It's, it's going to end up being like $600 in video games. So for a hundred bucks, like it's actually a fair offer. Of course I want to be more like 40, 50 bucks for the whole bag. That would have been a steal. But even at a hundred, it's a really good deal. Uh, so you guys, I spent $135 at this sale for $775 worth of stuff. It's going to end up being one of my best pickups of all time. On my list of top 10, I, I always keep like what I paid what it's worth and what the profit margin is. This is number four of all time. So just ridiculous pickup. I, I can't believe it still. All right, moving on. <laughs> I'm a little out of sorts of what order this was in, but I saw this sack of Farside books. Uh, they wanted a dollar each. It feels like that's what people love to charge around here for books. One of them has a little bit of water damage. I don't even know. You can probably, you can see it right there. No, it's on the other side. <laughs> Little water damage. So I was like, how about $5 for the six books? And they were like, sure, no problem. Uh, if there was no water damage, this lot probably sell for $25 to $30. Uh, as it is, I'm going to ask $20, which I think is fair. So $5 into $20 is not going to be bad. Books, super easy, right? I don't have to do anything to these things. Just list them, and they're out the door. <laughs> I don't think I even showed any of the video games, did I? Let's show one. <laughs> this is the uh, the Super Nintendo Classic. It's even in the case. And did I just seal it? I sealed it. <laughs> there we go. The Super Nintendo Classic. It's got both controllers, everything. It is in great shape. I'm going to ask 125 for just this alone. The PlayStation 1, I'm going to ask 200 with the screen. Like I said, a couple good games, uh, nothing too exciting. Mortal Kombat 4 for the PlayStation 1 and a couple wrestling games plus a couple other sports games for the Dreamcast. So not too bad there. Um, pretty cool to get it all. All right, let's see what's next here on the list. The Pyrex stuff we went through. I did end up getting a Wii later in the day, which I don't think, you know what it was. I went to a sale early in the morning and picked up a book. So I got... I don't know if this is Brissinger. Like, this is just on, sort of like Harry Potter. Just buy them the hardcovers when you see them, and then when you get the full set listed on eBay for 25, 30 bucks, whatever they're going for currently. Especially if you can get them for like 50 cents or a dollar, it's always going to be a good pickup. Don't take up a lot of space. Try not to buy several of like number one and number two, and then have no three or four. You want to just kind of manage your inventory, right? That's that's my advice on that stuff. Uh, but let's see. So I went back later in the day. He had a Wii and he wanted like 85 bucks for it. I did end up picking it up. I talked him down to 50, which no real good games. So not going to be the best pickup ever, uh, but not too bad. This one's going to be hard to show, um, but I did pick up a bunch of Cisco phone equipment. So a bunch of office phone stuff. So there was, there was two regular desk phones plus these wireless phones. And then I don't know that I'm going to be able to get the switch out of here. Let's see if I can tilt it up without knocking all this stuff out onto the floor. You can see the switch just barely right there. So I was, I was at the sale and I looked and I'm like, this stuff looks valuable. I love to sell business phones. The Cisco phones apparently don't have a lot of value. I really thought that they did. Uh, so I was wrong. Uh, it looks like for the, the, the newer model, the color screen model, it's going to be like, $20 if I'm lucky and then probably like $10 for the older like non monochrome model the the little wireless ones these are probably sell for more like $20 each 
and then really what I was interested in was the switch. I looked that up and it was selling for like over 100, probably like 125, 150. I'm probably gonna price it right in that range, probably on the lower side, because I'm gonna, I don't know, I want it to move. I don't want it to sit on eBay for a while. I think if I could put it up and it could sit for a while, I could probably ask that 125, 150. I'm not an expert in this stuff, so I also wanna just like cover my bases there. If it sells fast, of course, I'll know I priced it a little low, that's okay because it sold. I paid $45 for all this, and I think it's gonna be like, probably like $150 worth of stuff. So I, I thought it was gonna be a couple hundred to maybe $300 worth of stuff. So still not on the bad side of things, just not as much as I thought it was. Getting pretty close to getting through it all. Went, went to, I guess I wanna call it like a little, a little a late, a, a single lady. She was selling a lot of her stuff. She had quilts and stuff. Uh, I don't want to call her a little old lady, but it's kind of what I, my mind is thinking of. She's just a lady. Uh, but she had this sitting out, three bucks. It's brand new. I didn't look it up. I've sold these Sansas before. They usually sell anywhere from 15 to $20. So I was like, brand new. I'm going to ask 50 for this, you guys. I don't know that I'm going to get that, but that's what I'm going to ask. I think it's probably worth more like 30 to $40, something like that. But should still be a pretty good, uh, good, good uh, sale. <laughs> all right check my list again looks like we're getting to the end of it uh, i did go to the comic book shop again they've continuously put out new games and i found some pretty good stuff this week uh so let's see it i got harvest moon grand bazaar this is about a 30 dollar game dragon quest builders not quite as good i think it's probably more like a seven dollar game let's see here Dragon Quest Builders. Oh, it's a $10 game, so not too bad. I actually got this Kingdom Heart games for, for myself. I have not played through this, but this is about $10 as well. Mortal Kombat X, this is only like an $8 game. And they're charging $5 a piece, so $20 for these. And then they had a bunch of Nintendo 64 stuff, which they had it priced fair. Not low, not like eBay prices, but like Mario Party 2. They had this priced at 30 it's selling for about $70 with free shipping, so it's worth about $65. So right only about half. So I was like, I'll buy one of those. I, I really don't want to like ruin that source by buying it all. I mean, it's pretty obvious at that point that I'm not buying it for my own collection. I'm buying it for reselling. And I, I want that to be a source where they continuously put out games and price them fairly. So I'm trying not to do too much, right? Like. I'm buying a few of these games and talking to them about them and asking them questions and trying to be involved. I mean, like I said, I bought this Kingdom Heart games for, for myself. When I'm done with it, maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. I'm more of a hoarder when it comes to games I've played. I like to just hold on to them. <laughs> I'm sure that's pretty common. Uh, but yeah, so just like I said, I could have bought all of those games and probably made a good amount of money. I would have had to pay up, but it still would have been a good amount of money to be made there. Maybe I'll buy one and buy it for a friend next week. I know, I feel like such a liar going and saying that kind of stuff. But trying not to, again, exhaust that resource. I don't want them um, to start pricing things like eBay prices. All right, I'm going to check my list here. That actually is everything, I think. I got through that a lot faster than I thought I was going to. Uh, probably because I didn't take you through every single video game, <laughs> every single part from all the different coffee, from the coffee maker, right? So... Uh, so total spent, it's $351. Holy cow, you guys, that is quite the expense, isn't it? Like just a ton of expense there. What are you gonna do? Like you gotta spend money to make money. The good news is if I sold everything individually, which we know I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna bundle some of this stuff and some of the stuff I've, I've overestimated, underestimated, but a good estimated total right now is $1,450. Damn. I love garage sales, <laughs> especially this early season, right? We're midway through April and it's just there. The people are cleaning the stuff out. They want to get rid of it. You don't always have all of us resellers out there just like getting out because when it's nice out, it's much easier for everybody to be out. I didn't see half of the competition I usually see out there this time. So I know it was slow probably next weekend there'll be even more and then guaranteed the weekend after that when we get into may guaranteed there will be a ton of people out buying stuff so won't probably find as much um which is probably good because i got a ton of stuff 
Uh, this will be great though because I won't be able to sell or to list all of this stuff this week. Honestly, I won't because I tried to just keep it to about five items a day uh, Monday through Friday. So it's only going to be about 25 items. And based on this, I've got about 45 listings I can create. And some of it's going to require work. Like I got to plug these video games in, make sure that they work. And I, I don't want to be selling systems and then they're not working and having to get a return. At least I'll be able to prove that they work. Uh, so it takes time. And I just won't be able to get to all of it. So like the Dreamcast that I picked up, I'll probably put that in storage and get back to that maybe during the summer. And that's going to be great because once my son's born, I don't know that I'm going to be able to go out sourcing as much for a little while. So then this will help us close the gap there. And then, of course, I mean, right, you always can put aside stuff for the winter time. Even though I was going thrifting this year, I went through a lot of that. Somebody said money pile. <laughs> I'm used to hearing it as death pile. But uh, one, of the, one of the ladies, I know you're watching my video out there, you said money pile. So I'll, I'll use money pile today. <laughs> I love it. So get working through that money pile. I still have some stuff in storage that I haven't gotten to. Uh, I, I keep saying oh, I should just take a day and go through all of that stuff and not go sourcing. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's definitely not going to happen, is it? Uh, so that's going to do it for this week. It's a great week. So much fun. I love going to garage sales. Um, like I said, I, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the, live, the live garage selling stuff. I did put up a poll this week. Uh, if Probably close that out here probably on Monday, I think. Maybe Tuesday. I don't know. I'll probably try and get at least seven days out of it and see what you guys want. Do you guys want me to do just the audio from at the garage sale or do you guys want me to do a uh, voiceover like I did for thrifting? I actually really enjoyed doing the voiceover. It can sometimes feel like, oh my gosh, what am I going to talk about? And then just like when I'm doing the vlog with you guys here, I just end up going on tangents about whatever it is I'm thinking about and talking about my life, which it's actually really fun. So it's of course a lot easier to just post the audio from the sale. I don't have to do the voiceover. That takes as long as the video is, right? So if it's a 30 minute video, I have to spend another 30 minutes recording it. And if I have to pause or I have to edit, it's gonna take more time again. So if I can cut out an hour of my editing and post more videos, maybe I should just do that. But uh, I don't know. I, I'm, that's why I asked in the poll, I'm gonna see what you guys think I should do. Uh, so that's gonna do it for this week, you guys. Uh, like if you like, subscribe if you want. Thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> once again, my name is Patrick. Thank you very much.